right now on Wildlifers. Stephanie is hosting her annual Women of Service Antelope Hunt in New Mexico with Tri-State Outfitters. Perfect shot. I think women in the outdoors has been something that should have happened a long, long time ago. Six women take to the hills of New Mexico on a one-of-a-kind experience they more than deserve. I wouldn't even thought of doing it. That's like awesome. Look at the cutters on that thing. Big old prongs. The ladies had the most amazing time. Okay, he's coming out. He's coming out. Follow him. Okay. Follow him. Spin, spin, spin. Spin, spin, spin. But you can put it right in the pocket. <laughs> you sent it. Oh. There are three roads that lead to the same destination. There are three players seeking to achieve one goal. Why do I hunt? It's who I am. Where do I find the passion? It's in my blood. How do I keep going? It's what I live for. We are the Wildlifers. Stephanie is excited to be back in New Mexico this week, hosting her annual Women of Service Appreciation Antelope Hunt, where six women are nominated, then selected to attend this all-expense-paid trip to the amazing Tri-State Outfitters. We've done military honor hunts at our ranch since 2010. We always bring men. Nobody ever does anything for women. It's, it's equally important to me that the women get repaid more so or equally as the men. So when we had all these tags for these antelope, I thought that would be perfect for women because it's a fun hunt. It's, it's, it's relatively easy if you've never hunted before. You can have a very good chance at being successful. So I thought this would be a perfect fit. I don't know that there is any negative thing about Stephanie's all-women hunt she does in New Mexico. First and foremost, she's taking people that are law enforcement or military related. Those are two things that I feel very strongly about. She's also taking women hunting, most of which have no experience hunting. So. I feel very strongly about that as well. And I think the overall thing, so long as I'm not there, is just a perfect thing to do because I, I have watched the videos when they come home and I have seen the pictures and the elation and the smiles that are on these women's faces after experiencing something that they likely never would have is worth any and everything Stephanie has to do to make this hunt happen every year. Our antelope hunts are done with Tri-State Outfitters. We've hunted with Bridger and his team for as many years as I can think back, and they're just they're a good group of people, and I, I think they enjoy doing this hunt as much as we do. A new morning sets this hunt into action, and Trish Crochet, a San Antonio police officer, is excited to be heading out on the first antelope hunt she's ever been a part of. You know, the days are so long, and normally I just kind of go around, unless we see a giant one. Kind of just go around and look and just see what's out there for yeah. the first part of the day. And once we decide which ones we like the best, go back, look for them, and find them. I'm going to trust your judgment because I know nothing yeah. about antelope. <laughs> I met Trish through one of the ladies that went on the hunt a couple years ago. Uh, Rochelle Littlefield was one of the first ladies that went on the antelope hunt. And I reached out to these ladies to nominate somebody last year and nominated Trish. And that's how Trish came on the hunt. So all the hunting that I've done before in the past, I've only ever hunted in Texas. And I've hunted white-tailed deer and hogs. But most of the hunting that I've done has all pretty much been from a stand. I've never actually had to go out and um, do all the scouting and stalking. So this was a completely different hunting experience from anything that I've ever done. It's by far the best buck we've seen today so far though. We spent pretty much the whole first morning just driving around, scouting out where the antelope were. And I remember the first time I saw mine, he was in a big, huge open field. And my guide, Nick, gave us some insight on what it was like to hunt them in a big open field. It's a lot more difficult because their sight is incredible. I mean, we're like two miles away right now, so we'll just drive over and get a closer look. So we drove up the road a little ways. We could see him a little bit better. We could tell where he was at. Couldn't really figure out the best way to get to him, though, without him seeing us. Nick's like, well, he's about 500 yards from us right now. Too far to get a good shot. If we go up to him, we're pretty much going to have to crawl through the grass all the way up to him to even get in any kind of range to be able to get a shot. OK, let's do it. Crawl 
crawled on our hands and knees about 300 yards, set up the tripod, set up the binoculars so we could get another view on him and see how far we were from him. We are still probably about 250 yards, maybe farther away from him. The buck's gonna follow. He's gonna come closer, I think. So he walked toward us about 100, 150 yards, and we just stayed where we were at, stayed calm, stayed quiet. Okay, whenever he, he's facing us right now, I don't want you to shoot that shot. Wait till he stops broadside and just put it right where you hit him. would never turn completely broadside to me, so I could never get a, a really comfortable shot. He finally turned to where he was about 45 degrees. At one point, my heart started racing. Just try to breathe, control your breathing. Normally when your heart starts racing, you get that adrenaline going, it's hard to calm it back down, but it was like something just came over me, I snapped out of it. Wildlifers is brought to you by Bill Fick Ford. That's no bull. Vault Aviation, a different kind of whitetail. Barnes Precision Machine, USA made with unmatched performance. Wise Eye Tech. And Mellon Creek Outfitters, raising standards, not fences. Trish Crochet is sent up to take her first antelope ever after crawling 300 yards in an attempt to get a better shot opportunity. When he stops and squeezes it off right behind his shoulder. Whenever you're ready, right behind his shoulder. Right on his shoulder now. Nice shot. <laughs> I definitely had to work for it and it was challenging crawling through brush and cactus and th there was nothing like it we had all our equipment I'm carrying my rifle the whole time so really I couldn't crawl on my hands and knees it was more like a duck walk 300 yards so needless to say my legs were completely exhausted afterwards but it was totally worth it it's a really nice book Good job. It's got good tops. Top end. Like the like above the prong. It's pretty long, like above the prong. Good mature bug. The most of the bucks we've been seeing today, their prongs stop like right there. Really? Like half as big as his. This is by far the biggest prongs we've seen today. I like it. <laughs> well good. So how was it? It was awesome. Yeah? Look at the cutters on that thing. Big old prongs. Wow. Look. We crawled 300 yards. You crawled? <laughs> yes. Out in the wide open? Yeah. yeah. It was awesome. Nick's a beast, didn't he? Yeah. She's a beast. She's like a sniper. She made a perfect shot. It she wasn't a it. hard shot. Yeah, I told her there's, that one has the biggest prongs we've seen for sure. So. She liked the prongs. She thought he was a that pretty That is book. amazing. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. That's awesome. It was fun. It was a Good. fun lunch. As Nick and team were getting Trish's antelope ready for the meat processor, Crystal Beltran, a Navy CB from Refurio, Texas, was still out with Tri-State Outfitters guide Anthony, searching for a good antelope to harvest. So we got the wind coming in now fairly steady. I mean, it's not gusting, it's it's pretty consistent and it's above 10 to 15 when it gets at that rate. The goats don't like it as much. They're, they're gonna get down in the lee of these hills or in any of the draws that we've been looking for. And they're gonna wanna bed there. And they're gonna wanna start their evening feeding there. So that's where we're gonna go now and hit. It's a lot more glassing, a lot more intense glassing because you could just be looking for horn tops, you know, and tips of ears. 
not necessarily going to be standing out on the broad flats like they were this morning. They should work their way to there by evening, but that's where they're going to be settled in now, staying cool, staying out of the wind. It just messes with their eyes. They can't hear as well, so they don't like to be out in it. That's where we're going to start looking for them. Crystal, I met actually through Lacey, Dustin's wife. Lacey had met her a couple times with their sons play baseball together, and she thought she was a perfect fit to be nominated for this hunt, and she turned out to be just an amazing person. I'm a Navy CB. I was a heavy equipment operator. I did about two years active duty and an eight-year reserve commitment. I'm currently a Sergeant of Corrections at the McConnell Unit in Beeville, Texas. It's, it's still the hot part of the day and they, they don't need to be feeding right now. So if they are, if they're up and they're doing anything, they're gonna be engaged in rutting activities more than anything. The bucks are gonna be checking their scent lines you know, and pushing any does that are starting to tell that estrus scent. But as far as just natural foraging, the doe herds, they shouldn't be doing that. And so if they're sitting, the bucks would be sitting next to them. If they stand up and start moving and making their way through the evening feeding grounds, the bucks will follow. This segment is brought to you by Barnes Precision Machine. USA made with unmatched performance. Crystal and her guide Anthony have been searching for a good buck all day long. That's a super tall one. It looks like a definite good buck. Now what are we gonna do about it though? After spotting a good antelope for Crystal, they make a plan to use the low rolling hills to their advantage. They're gonna be headed up this draw. What we're gonna wanna do is keep them out of sight, but basically circle them, get in front of them. He's gonna push those does straight along like he's been doing. If we can get in front of them and cut them off, they'll come right to us. We just gotta kinda stay out of their sight or we'll turn them back out towards the other side of the pasture. Set. You can just see the tips of his horns right there. He's gonna come out to the right. Okay. I see him. Okay, I see him. he's coming out to the right. He's coming out to the right. We might have to turn here in a minute. 58. It's too far. Just wait. Let's dump into this hole and go. Ready? Yep. We're not out of it. Let's go over this dam in short order and get in the hole. Ready? Yep. right there he's just the horn tips now you can just see horn tips and he's gonna come out to the right okay okay he's moving oh sam i'm sam the right tip? there yeah see I see the, the tip? tips okay follow him to the right he'll come out on this plane and we're gonna get a shot right here okay i can see just the tips of his horns he's coming this way he's coming out he's gonna be going right okay there he is he's coming okay. out Okay, stop. Let him stop. Let him turn. What's that? In the chest. If you have it, steady. Wait, wait, wait. Meh! Meh! Stay on him. Stay on him. Meh! 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 Okay, right there. Send it. Did I get him? Got him. He was still going. He was still going. You got him. He's done. He's done. That's the death run. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't even see him. Oh, <laughs> you smoked him so hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> God, we put so much effort into that him. one. Oh, my God, that's nine miles of stopping. Oh, my God, I know. Oh, you got him quick up on stage. I did. Oh, yeah. I did that. That was so pretty. That was so pretty. You put it right in the pocket. Sink it. Oh. Made it all worth it. Yeah, it was. How are we at? 8,500 steps. <laughs> <laughs>
10,000? I don't even know. <laughs> on him. Oh my. And that's one goal. Steps. Once I realized that he did fall, it was just like a big sigh of relief. Like all day long, the hunt was worth it. And it was I was rewarded with actually harvesting an antelope. There he is. Oh yeah, he's pretty. Look at that. Look at those horns. And he crossed his legs and everything. Put it on him. Yes. He led us on a merry chase and he is a good goat. Yep. Nice big mass, you can't get your hand around it. But he has been from one end of this mesa all the way down to the other and back around trying to mark and trying to chase does and with us just dogging him all day long. All day long. We're eight hours into this of old twofer. We call this buck twofer because he's usually too, too far, far to shoot at. <laughs> and that was where he spent most of his day out past 350. Too far. For more information on hunting antelope with Tri-State Outfitters, make sure to give them a call or visit them on their website. It's the final day of the hunt, and Misty McBride, who works with the Dallas Area Rapid Transit Police Department, is hoping to fill her tag before the hunt comes to an end. As daylight breaks over the New Mexico hillside, the team is already creating a plan to stock a herd of antelope high atop a lava rock mesa. That's the bunch we're after right there. Now you can see there's two of them, and there's the closer ones, and they're still probably a thousand. The second bunch on top of that ridge of lava, that's the one that has the big buck. And that's the one we're gonna try to make the play on right there. Our, our problem right now is getting around the first bunch and getting them out of this flat terrain. And hopefully they run like out here. Yeah. And it doesn't out, spook the other ones right. up top. Out or over, just this way is bad. Anything into the flats. All yeah. right, let's do it. We'll make it happen. Let's do it. I met Misty through Matt Baines. He invented the coffee figure Reaper Rest. And he and I became friends a couple years ago and I reached out to him and he nominated Misty for the hunt. She was actually supposed to go on the hunt the year before, but she had a prior speaking arrangement about the situation of the shooting in Dallas. So she was so bummed she wasn't gonna get to go. So when I reached out to her this year to go, she was ecstatic. I was like super excited whenever I got the email asking me to come back this year and do it. I was thinking all year, I was like, I wanna go, I wanna go, I wanna go. So I was kind of thinking about the same time frame and I got that magical email, so I was pretty ecstatic about it. Missy was actually the first person to be hit when the shooting in Dallas happened. Um, it wasn't but maybe a block from where she was working and they heard the gunfire and she ran straight to it. And she actually saved somebody's life because she was protecting them and that's when she got shot. She's an amazing person, but to go through something like that is, it's more than most people would ever do. Anthony's plan to work up to the group on top of the mesa ended up taking the team over five miles into the New Mexico hills. Once they arrived to where the buck was located, he was bedded, but in a great spot for Misty to set up and wait for a shot. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna start with the mamping. Sister, got it. Woo! Woo! That's the money maker. He's done. A good shot. Whew. He's still standing there. You want to try and squeeze one? I he's mean, still standing? He got back up, yeah. Holy. He's, he's dead because if not, he'd be running. What happened? Over, I think. I heard a thud. Did it sound like it hit him? Yeah. I heard oh, it. Okay, then you got him. Let's go on safety again. Y'all remind me to take it off safety. Kind of. Oh, he's done. There we go. Oh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. That I was heard a good thud hit. on I heard that I'm thud. Sorry. Woo! Uh, woo! Yeah, <laughs> Golly. Hey, look at that pursuit. All the way around the world. Park. Where's it at? That's the car. Is that the road? See the car in the dip? You are. <laughs> Can we call it an Uber? Yeah. Get us an Uber up here. It was 11,000 steps, six miles up a freaking mountain. And when you're up there, you're like, okay, I'm pretty far up, right? You look over and it's like, uh-oh. And then you start walking. But when we got back down there, I was like, it's a freaking mountain we just like conquered. 
I think today was our biggest day. It, it was worth it. I mean, it was, you know, went up there and it was, it was great. And we tracked this sucker, didn't we? Oh, God. S almost six miles, yeah. 11,000 steps. I don't know oh. if the camera can pick it up, but this is the top of the world. Like, we're out of country. This is as high as this ranch goes. <laughs> Team Anthony went to the top. It was worth every bit of the chase. It really was. It was a good Ooh, chase. Yes, yes. It was definitely worth it. I was not going home empty. I got a bunch of a bunch of guys at work that were actually jealous. They're like, oh, we'll see you tomorrow. I was like, nope, I'm hunting. What? You're hunting? I'm like, yeah. You don't hunt? I said, yeah, I do. Just, you know, these days are just, you know, meant a lot. I would just like to say thank you to Wildlifers for this amazing opportunity. My job every day is, it's a stressful job, and I go to the substation every day. I get in my car not knowing what to expect. I don't know what my day is going to end like. I don't know if I'm going to go home on time someday. I don't even know if I'm going to go home every day when I go to work. And um, getting to come here, it's it was a getaway from my everyday life. And getting to be here with five other service women from all over the country was completely incredible. The ladies had the most amazing time. Most of them got to experience something they've never, ever done. And they all want to do it again, which I think is huge because it's important to me to bring women into this. Everybody just had such a wonderful time. The ladies all got along. I think we made friends for life. If you'd like to check out the rest of these ladies' hunts, Go to our social media or our website. Closed captioning is brought to you by Vault Aviation, a different kind of whitetail.